Okay guys, so today we're going to be making some pinwheel cookies. Um, first thing is, just need to put 250 grams of butter into a large mixing bowl and one cup of sugar. Cream both of them until light and fluffy. Fluffy, add one teaspoon of vanilla essence to the mixture. After that, add in two eggs. And mix well. Once you've mixed in the vanilla essence and eggs, gradually add three cups of plain flour to the mixture until it forms a soft dough and mix well after each addition. Once you've mixed the flour, a soft dough should have been formed. Now, half this mixture into another bowl. And to this half of the mixture, we're going to add two tablespoons of cocoa. Now keep mixing it until all the cocoa is blended into the dough mixture. Now lightly flour your workbench and place the first ball of dough onto the workbench and just slowly knead it and flour it a bit more if necessary and just work the flour into it and just knead the mixture a bit as well. Once you've kneaded the mixture, roll it out into a rectangle shape, making sure that you've evenly rolled the mixture out. Once you've mixed, uh, rolled out the white dough mixture, just place the uh, chocolate mixture on top and roll it out about the same dimensions as the white one. And just lightly flour the dough mixture. And once again, just roll this out evenly as well. Once you've rolled out the chocolate mixture on top of the white mixture, this is what it should look like. And just gently lift the edges 
and roll the mixture to form a log. Being very careful as the mixture will break. And if there are any gaps or cracks in the mixture, just press the mixture over the top and that should be just fine. Flour your workbench once again, as well as the log. And just roll this out, just using your hands to spread the mixture out into a bit of a longer and thinner log. Once you've done that, wrap your log into some glad wrap and place it in the fridge for four hours for it to chill before you bake it. Now that it's firmly wrapped, just place it in the fridge. Just taken this um, out of the fridge. It's rested for four hours now and it is quite firm. So just unwrap the plastic and place it on a workbench. Now that it is in a log, we're just going to cut the ends and then slice them into pieces and that's what your final design should look like so just place it on a tray and continue to do so for the rest So this mixture is very versatile and to make two different designs using the same kind of mixture that was prepared earlier we're just going to wrap each of these two um, each of these mixtures into some glad wrap as well and we're going to let these chill just like that in the fridge so the two other mixtures that we had set aside as well they have also been taken out of the fridge and like I said it is a very versatile mixture so we're just going to show you how to make a different design using the exact same mix. On a lightly floured surface we're going to start with the vanilla dough first. We're just going to roll it out to about one centimetre thick. And you can always just put a bit more flour onto the surface to just help it roll out a bit better. Okay, so now that we've rolled it out, we're just going to cut off the edges and you can use that for later. So just save these for later because we're going to roll it back up and do the exact same thing. So we're just going to cut the um, mixture into squares and once we've done that just separate them and set them aside.
Okay, now we're just going to roll out the chocolate mixture. And just making sure that this is reasonably thin as well. Okay. So now that we've rolled out the chocolate dough, just press the mixture out a bit more with your hands and make sure it's quite firm to use. Okay, now for this one, just cut off the edges once again. Like we did with the white cookie mixture. And what we're going to do with this one is just cut it into thin strips and these are going to be placed on top of the white cookie squares that we cut earlier. And if yours are long like this, just cut them in half so that they can fit on top of the cookie squares. Okay, now that we've got our little chocolate rectangles, we're just going to place them on top of the cookie squares, just like so. And if they are a bit too big, you can just trim off the edges. So as you can see, you have got two different designs that you can use. And if you want, you can also just get creative with the chocolate mixture and place it however you want on top of the um, white cookie mixture. Because you've got two colors, you can do whatever you want with it and just be absolutely creative. Once these are done, you can put an egg wash on top of it if you want them to have an extra bit of a glow. Um, if you don't, then just pop them straight into the oven. Okay, so in the end, we have made three different designs. You've got the original pinwheel, the second one where we showed where you can just put a strip of chocolate on the top, and then there's this little um, cross kind of one where you can just put two pieces of chocolate across and on top of the white square. Alternatively, you can think up of whatever you want, but these are just the ones that we've made.